Alright, layers are extremely important. I've pulled the layers palette out so we can explore what we can do with layers. You will notice that when you have a layer that has a triangle, this means that there is a sublayer inside of this layer. I can rename both the sublayer by double clicking on the name and hitting enter and I can change the name of the layer itself and then hitting enter. If I click and drag on my artwork, whatever I've selected will be highlighted with a color cube to the right hand side of the target. If the target is selected, which is this little circle right here, this will indicate to us the path within the canvas. If I want to see what layer this is, I click on it and it can either be this layer right here or this one right here. I can turn on and off the visibility to confirm if that's the right layer. I can also select the layer directly by clicking on the target and then I can move my layer. I'm going to undo that. I can also move layers around by dragging them above the other layers until I get a solid white line. If I drag them on top of another layer and let go, they will go inside of that layer. As you can see, this layer right here, low light, now has the layer one with its sublayer in the original sublayer of low light. So I'm going to drag this layer out by dragging it on top of the low highlight layer and then letting go. I am going to close the low light layer. Another thing that we can do is we can lock the layers so that we cannot grab them. In case we're working on top, we will grab everything else except that layer as you can see. All these layers have been selected. This is the layer that was selected specifically. But layer one, the one with the shading, was not selected at all. So I'm going to unlock it. To change the colors of the layers and the sublayers, all you have to do is double click on the gray area and this layer options will pop up. I can rename the layer here. I can change the colors right here. I can template the layer or I can lock the layer. I can decide if this will print during the printing procedure. And if I don't want to see a preview right here, I can deselect preview. When I select template, I have the ability to dim the image. I'm going to hit OK. And lastly, we can delete layers by just selecting either the layer itself or its sublayer and then going to the trash can on the bottom right hand side of the layers palette and clicking on the lead section. If I wanted to create a new design based on a quick sketch I did, I would first um, place the image by going to file place. I would find the image then place it. Once the image has been placed where I want it, what I will do, I will open the layer, name the layer sketch L for layer, hit enter, and then in the actual sub layer, I would rename it sketch. And I'm going to select the sublayer, not the layer, but the sublayer, and I'm going to reduce the opacity. So when I trace it with the pen tool, the image is not overwhelming. And then I will select the layer sketch L and lock that layer. Immediately I'm going to create a new layer above it where I can start drawing with my tracing tool. I'm going to select black and switch the fill for the stroke by just hitting on the shift X and then I can select the pen tool and start drawing my shapes. 